everyone and welcome to the video right here. Today we'll be talking about the Intel i5 8600K and how to overclock it correctly. I have um, this specific motherboard MSI C or SAT370 Tomahawk. Okay, that is my motherboard SAT370 Tomahawk. Okay, so this motherboard is capable of overclocking around 4.973 gigahertz. It might not be able to get up to 5.0, even though if it can, I don't think it's that stable. I'll show you the performance right here. As you can see, going through the menu, switching. Some of the PC actually lag, like when you're switching these menu. If you can do this, then it's really good. I'll also um, show you the in-game, in-game um, gameplay as well. Let's um, start the training. As you can see, the game is running really smooth at the maximum setting. This is all. This is already the maximum setting. Just to show you that it's already at maximum, let's bring up the setting. Uh, video right here. This is my video setting. As you can see, this is what we are running on. Make sure that maximum frame allowed is going all the way up. And um, Walken. Click apply, and this should be uh, should be your best um, um, setting for Dota 2. So it's running really really smooth, no stuttering at all. Just moving around, creep still doing stuff. It's okay, there are no sound. Don't worry, just keep listening. So this is this is what it is. So I'm gonna show you my BIOS setting right now. Okay. Out F4 does not work on Dota. I think they have disabled it. Uh, which is fine, I guess. Now let's go into the BIOS right now. So let's uh, click BIOS. Because when I go into the BIOS, I won't be able to show you when I boot back up to the PC right here. I'll end the video before I boot back up. So that's why I want to show you the performance of the game first. It's like putting the end of the video at the at the beginning of the video. Now there's some setting that I have made that um that will that will actually make this go smoothly. Even though it's not 5.0, but it's 4.973. Okay? As you can see, it's a 4.97 up top right there. Pretty sweet, eh? And also DDR speed is also overclock as well. Um, if this video get a hundred, nah, two hundred likes, then I'll consider making a uh, um that one that DDR RAM boost speed whatever thing. Two hundred likes. That's all I'm asking for. OC. So this is what your motherboard would look like. MSI Click BIOS 5. If you have um, MSI motherboard, this should be very, very clear. Firstly, you have to set the OC Explorer mode to Expert. So basically, it will say Auto or, or, or a Normal or Expert. Make sure it's all on Expert. CPU ratio on All Core. CPU ratio is 49, that's what you should set it at. CPU ratio mode is dynamic mode. So people usually do fix, but I don't think that you should uh, do that for your CPU because running at 4.9 is 7 all the time is very taxing. CPU ABX auto, ring ratio auto, do not change this. EIST enable. Enhance Turbo Enable and make sure that Intel Turbo Boost is also enabled, but you can't select it. If you select 
this as dynamic mode, this will be automatically enabled. Now, the, the next thing, this is the setting that I have that people didn't really, really have with 5.0 is this CPU-based clock, um, MHC, CPU BL, BCLK, is 101.5. Okay. And now the next thing that you should do is... Digital or power but um I've, i'll go into this first so just click on it and as you can see cpu load line calibration mode one as you can see you need to make sure this is mode one and instead of their auto don't use auto it will put at mode five that is not good you want to use mode one for this overclock setting CPU switching frequency is also um, really, really important. As you can see, this is what it does. You can read it in your own time or pause the video. But I recommend 150. And this should be auto, auto and enabled. Going back here, we'll see um, this is also a very important part. Make sure that CPU core voltage is set to adapted adaptive and all offset mode. This is how I set mine. I don't use auto. CPU core voltage will be 1.35. That should not change. And DRAM voltage frequency is 1.4. Actually, I have already reviewed the um, DRAM settings, so that's fine. You get it for free on this with as well, but um, please consider helping subscribing or liking the video that would really help um other than that you should not mess with anything else i would say that you can mess with the fan control so just back up hardware monitor that's where you get your fan as you can see the fan is um running pretty high right there but there is no sound coming off my PC. So as you can see, uh, you don't really want to use smart fan mode that much, to be honest. Oh wait, you can use smart fan mode and then you just move this around by yourself. So that's how I, I move mine. <laughs> I, I just put it on straight line, okay? Um, it's like, okay, you want to stay at this level at all times, okay? And that's how I do mine right here. So it, it it just depends on uh, what 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 your setting is, but this is how I do it. <laughs> this is uh very fun to do. Anyway, um, just back out, um, yeah, and reboot your PC, and then you get um the spec right here. I I think you you'll be very happy with it. Um, I'm very happy with it so far. It has. Uh, been really great. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM and the spec is all here BIOS build date you might want to update to this BIOS But I also feel like MSI should have released another BIOS right here as well As you can see motherboard temperature and CPU temperature is in good hand Nothing to worry room temperature is around 24 Celsius So it's not too bad Okay. Um, mm, I don't think there's nothing else to show you. Yeah, but this is my secret uh, CPU BCLK. Instead of putting it at fifty here, no, no, no. Okay, this is this is better. It it just it just make it more stable than five point oh, but it. I don't know. Leave your thought below if it um if you think that this could go to fifty. I tried fifty before, but the PC still crash at times. So it runs stable at times, but it also crash at times. So I don't think that that is good. That is a good fit for um the overclock setting. Other than that, this is all good, and I see you guys next time. Cheers.
Psych 10 minute baby, let's go.